Let's say you're looking for a laptop that has power, portability, and some AI features baked into a clamshell design at a good price. That is exactly what the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7i Aura Edition offers at a 15 inch size. So let's put it to the test, find out what this Aura slogan means, and what's up, s'mores? I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome if you are new. If you hear any kind of bells or like little mews in the background, that's because I have a kitten who's currently playing in the room with me. I just adopted a little baby kitten. Her name is Zelda and she's the cutest thing ever. So this right here is the Yoga Slim 7i Aura Edition laptop. It comes in at a starting price of about 1300 bucks at Best Buy currently. The review unit you see here will soon be sent back to Lenovo, so comment any questions you have as soon as you've seen this video before I send it back. Now, first up, we have got the design. This thing is very sleek, it's very lightweight. It's just 3.37 pounds and as thin as 0.55 inches. That's super, super thin. It is wrapped in this really luxe Luna gray aluminum chassis with a very small bump where the sensors and your webcam exist. Now, you do have a pretty sturdy hinge on this thing and because it is a traditional clamshell device. It does not go full 360 and turn into like a tent or a tablet mode. It does feel super solid in everyday use and it unfolds completely flat. I actually really like that, especially if you wanna show somebody something on your screen. It does wobble a little bit though, and it is hard to open with just one hand. Now in terms of ports, we have on the right side an e-shutter switch for privacy, the power button, a Type-C Thunderbolt 4, and a USB-A port. On the left side, we have HDMI 2.1, USB Type-C Thunderbolt 4, and your audio jack. One nice perk is you can power this through the Thunderbolt port on either side, which is quite convenient. It also supports DisplayPort 2, and given that it has full HDMI and Thunderbolt, plus an audio jack, I would argue that this is a really good laptop for presentations or giving talks with slides. Now, if you are finding this video helpful, a subscribe would mean so much. Subscribing is completely free here on YouTube, and it helps more than you would know in terms of getting my videos to pop up in your YouTube feed. Unsponsored videos like this one are free to watch, and that's thanks to my Patreon supporters, my s'mores, and my YouTube channel members. So a huge Patreon shout out to my newest s'mores. Thank you so much. You can join them and support my channel by going to patreon.com slash Shannon Morse to get perks like early video access and my private Discord. And a huge thank you so much to my YouTube members and patrons for making this video possible again. Now the display on this thing is really pretty. It's a 15.3 inch Pure Sight Pro LCD display, which TLDR is Lenovo's design made to deliver exceptional color accuracy and clarity for creators and professionals. No, sadly, it is not a fancy OLED, but it still looks really great. It is a 2.8K resolution, 120 hertz refresh rate, 500 nits of brightness, so also not the brightest laptop I have reviewed. It also includes Dolby Vision. Now, again, it's not gonna get as bright as an OLED, and it isn't as rich in colors, but it's still very lovely to use. It's also a really nice glass touchscreen. It's really nice to feel. And it has this anti-fingerprint coating. It does a pretty fine job of hiding fingerprints whenever you touch the display. So, it looks great, but sounds good. The quad speakers with Dolby Atmos do have some really great audio quality when it comes to bass. It's very bass heavy. For example, listening to some classic rock, the bass sounds very consistent and very powerful. But if you're watching videos or podcasts, it sounds a little bit muffled in comparison. Now the keyboard feels very comfortable to use. The spacing is perfect. Hey, kitty. All right, guys, here's the kitten. <laughs> she's very active right now, so I have to make sure she's not getting into anything. Although our house is very kitten safe. Well, thank you for the kisses. You're so sweet. Now this laptop keyboard is not as tactile as a mechanical keyboard. This one feels more like a membrane keyboard. It's very soft, a very smooth press, low travel at 1.5 millimeters. I'm also really quite happy with the trackpad, which is smooth and it has a tactile mouse click. There is no numpad and no dedicated media keys. They are shared with the function keys and only two levels of brightness for backlighting, or you can disable the lighting entirely. 
Also, as you can see, it is not full RGB. The backlighting is only one color. Now, internally, the Intel Core Ultra 7 Series 2 CPU and the integrated Intel Arc 140V graphics are not going to be as hardcore as a gaming machine, but this will get most tasks done without issue. For example, some Adobe Premiere 4K video editing went very smoothly, and games do run pretty well. Like, I like using Horizon Zero Dawn as my test source for games, and it did not struggle on the graphics, though to my eye, I did notice some very minimal graphical tearing. It will struggle with more complex multitasking though. Now, interestingly, the fans stay really quiet, even with heavy workloads, and I can use this on my lap without it overheating and feeling uncomfortable. I do appreciate that the one terabyte SSD is upgradable, but I'm always keeping an eye out for laptops that offer other upgradable components as well. For example, the RAM in this unit is solid soldered onto the motherboard. There's also an MPU, and when it comes to AI processing, you can do tasks locally, like using co-creator or stable diffusion or studio effects. There's also a co-pilot key if you want to use Windows integrated AI assistant. I personally do not use a lot of AI desktop applications myself, but they are available to you if you do use those. Now the battery life is superb. The 70 watt hour cell gets me through a full work day doing lots of productivity workloads, even some gaming and editing. I did take it off the charger every morning around 9.30 or so, and it would die or get near 0% by 5 p.m., so just about 7.5 hours. I also appreciate the Rapid Charge Express, which will give you three hours of use with a 15 minute charge, so very useful whenever you're traveling. Wi-Fi 7 is fast. My speed tests on a local Wi-Fi 7 network were satisfactory. Now to note, the webcam does support facial login and Lenovo Zero Touch features. Like if you walk away, your laptop will lock itself. I also love that e-shutter privacy switch on the side and the quad mic array helps make you sound clear during calls. Now this is where the Aura Edition gets its name. Aura laptops are co-developed with Intel and they're packed with all sorts of AI smarts. So there are special Aura smart modes including Shield, which adds privacy protection and VPN prompts. There's collaboration, which enhances video calls with lighting and background blur. You have wellness with posture reminders and eye strain reduction. That's kind of cool. Power modes, which toggle with FN and Q to adjust performance profiles. And then we have the Aura Smart Share. So Smart Share lets you tap your phone to the side and it will let you drag photos right onto your desktop. Where are you going? You can't climb on my shoulders every day. Also, Aura Smart Care can be used to live chat or call real humans from Lenovo support if things go somewhat chaotic. Did you fart? I think she's trying to take a nap on me. The Lenovo Yoga Slim 7i Aura Edition delivers a whole lot for mid-range price. You get a premium display, you get a solid build quality, AI features, and performance that holds up for creators and students and remote workers alike. Now, given the current price of laptops, I am considering this one to be mid-range. She's asleep. But if you need more power, if you need a dedicated GPU, or if you need something with longer battery life, you may need to look at some pricier models. Now comment below with your questions and I'll see you soon. Bye y'all. Sweet baby. She's totally trying to fall asleep on me.